In this tutorial I show you how to run a three-level multi-level model with R and the LME4 package. This tutorial assumes that you have basic knowledge about testing a two-level multi-level model. So I won't go into details like when to mean center, which estimator to use, how to test assumptions and things like that. This tutorial is focused on the additional complications you get if you want to test a three-level model. I'll be using three libraries, LME4 for the multi-level modeling, LME R test for the p-values and rec helper for a graph for simple slopes later on for cross-level interaction. This tutorial is based on a data set by Hox et al, which they use in their standard textbook about multi-level modeling in chapter 2, Nurses. This analysis tries to predict stress for, for nurses based on experimental intervention and some covariates. The nurses are nested within wards and the wards are nested within hospitals, so we have three levels. On level 1 we have the variables age, gender and experience and the dependent variable stress. On level 2 we have ward type and we have the experimental condition. And on level 3 we have the size of the hospital as a predictor. And for two of the predictors Hox et al. use the mean centered version later on in the model. But that's not the focus of this video. We start as always with a null model, that is with the empty model without fixed effects. So we have the LMR function, the dependent variable tilde and the one. And now what's new is the random part. We have hospital slash ward, that is wards nested within hospitals. And here we can see the random effects, the variation between hospitals, the variation between wards within one hospital, and the residual variation, that is the variation of nurses within wards. There's a second possibility to code the three-level multi-level model, and that's this one. Here we explicitly define both parts. We define here the random intercept between the hospitals and here between the wards within one hospital. Both lead to exactly the same results. But there are some analyses we'll see later where we need the, more, the longer code. Next we include the fixed effects. So we simply add them regardless of whether they are on level 1, level 2 or level 3. And as you know from a two-level multi-level model, you simply get the parameter estimates and the p-values for the different fixed effects. And again you get the three random effects, hospital, ward within hospital, nurses within ward. Now we want to add a random slope. In this case we want this experimental condition to vary between hospitals. And to define that this random slope is only relevant for the hospital and not for the ward within the hospital, we need the longer notation. So here I've added the experimental condition, whereas here there still is only a random intercept on level 2. So on level 3 we have a random intercept and a random slope, whereas on level 2 we only have a random intercept. And here you can see that for the level 3 hospital, in addition to a random intercept, there is a random slope. And there is a correlation between the random intercept on level 3 and the slope on level 3. In order to explain this variation, we could add a cross-level interaction, in this case between the experimental condition and the hospital size. And that again is as you would add a cross-level interaction in a two-level model. And here we get the cross-level interaction. So the effect of the experimental condition is different depending on the hospital size because it's significant. To better understand this interaction, I think it's useful to plot simple slopes. For that we could use the graph model function from the rec helper library. And here we can see for small hospitals the red line, the experimental condition reduces the stress, whereas for large hospitals the stress of the nurses more or less stays the same, whether they are in the experimental group or the control group. That's it. If you need help later on with your multi-level model with R, I'm a statistics consultant and I provide video consultations for researchers and students around the globe. You find a link to my services in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.